I'd like to open by saying that I was also a happy victim of David Gallus's scalpel. And one thing that he found inside of my brain, and he was always very supportive of, is a huge uh, interdisciplinary thinking uh, approach to science. And I think this is about as interdisciplinary as you can get. So <laughs> it's definitely been um, um, a huge thank you to him for, for being supportive of uh, that inclination in me. Carbon dioxide removal. Why am I, a lowly biologist, talking to you guys about uh, you know, the, the universe of the decarb bros building gigawatt scale power plants? What am I doing here? This is a diagram that's showing emissions across the world, in, and the green is demonstrating historic pre-industrial emissions, and the orange is the incremental changes since we've industrialized. Here's us. We are adding approximately, you know, this says 32, but other estimates I've seen have been 40 gigatons of CO2 a year to the atmosphere. Here's where biology plays. Biology is taking in and removing 400 gigatons a year of CO2. So from the perspective of a biologist who's been a genetic engineer, I'm wondering, could I turn that dial a little bit? So why carbon removal? This is a plot probably many people have seen. We know that according to the IPCC most recent report, to stick to 1.5 degrees of warming, we will need to do removals by 2050. In fact, we need to do around 4 billion tons of removal annually by 2050. And so far, we've done 10,000. So there's a long way to go. There is a huge appetite in corporate America, especially in tech companies, to meet net zero commitments. So what does that mean? Today, you can emit a ton out of your data center's uh, energy use. You can pay to avoid a tree getting cut down somewhere else. And what that means is that you emitted a ton, because that ton that you avoided is total BS. You can pay for a ton of clean power from a renewable energy plant. A ton, or sorry, you can emit one ton uh, due to your power usage. You can pay for that ton to be captured at the source, at the power plant. And then you've emitted zero tons, but it's only for power. But I still want to use my corporate jet. So if you emit a ton, you then remove a ton somewhere in the world. A ton of CO2 is put into permanent storage, then you have removed, then you have a net zero impact uh, for sure. The problem is technologies to do this really don't exist today. They are, there are a couple of solutions out there. They are very, very expensive on the order of like 400 to $1,000 a ton, sometimes even higher. So what uh, the company that I'm working at has done is create a market along with others in the community to pay for these expensive tons now and help drive them down the cost curve in the future. Oh, and I, I should add also, there are a lot of people who are starting to think about removal for its own sake. Can we remove either all of our historical emissions and not worry about net zero today? Or also, can we just do good for the environment and literally just remove? Um, I want to make a quick note on why permanence is important. When we emit a ton, it's in the atmosphere forever, for tons of thousands of years. When we remove a ton, if we're doing something that is not permanent, planting a tree, something like that, you, the effect of that intervention does not actually keep us to 1.5 degrees of warming. It actually affects global temperatures just as much as it would have. It's just a little bit of a time lag. OK, so what I flashed up here is a bunch of different approaches to CDR. This is where the interdisciplinarity comes in. There's biological approaches. There's biochemical approaches, uh, electrochemistry approaches. There's a lot out there, and we are just scratching the surface. This is a very, very creative industry, and it's growing like gangbusters right now. So feel free to contact me, email address at the top, if you're curious about how to do removal, if you have some wacky idea um, from your field of science that could play here. Um, and Nina is also an expert in the area, so feel free to chat with her as well. Did I do it in five? Ba you, you beat cool. the clock. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you.